The Hansen Research Group is interested in molecular photophysics, that is, all the events that occur after you excite a molecule with light. And so those can be many things, for example, energy transfer, electron transfer, chemical reactions, or just vibrational decay down to the ground state. So in particular, we're interested in molecular photophysics at inorganic interfaces. And so the basic idea is to assemble stepwise multiple layers of chromophores at an inorganic interface. And this allows us to control the interaction of those molecules. For example, we're interested in photon upconversion, the idea of taking low energy light and converting it into high energy light. And if you can do that, you can harness additional portions of the solar spectrum. Uh, additional areas of research is using multiple chromophores on the surface to do an energy cascade type scenario. Much like artificial photosynthetic centers, you can do energy transfer to a place where it will do charge separation and you can harness that energy. So we have two primary goals associated with our research. The first is just to understand these phenomena, energy and electron transfer at these interfaces, because we don't necessarily know what the application of that knowledge is, but having that foundational knowledge can help us develop new concepts and new pr principles to move forward. Uh, the second goal is to use these inorganic, organic interfaces in solar cells, particularly dye-sensitized solar cells. And this will allow us to hopefully convert more of the solar spectrum into electricity or make that process more efficient. So while we do very foundational things, some of the real-world applications are obviously in solar cells. Again, everyone's heard of solar cells. They're, they're starting to become more and more popular, but it is a matter of reducing the cost of solar cells as well as making them more efficient. Students that graduate from the Hansen Research Group will learn many different domains of research, and so we cross the lines from synthesis to characterization to device manufacturing and characterization. And so students that leave my lab will have become familiar with organic and inorganic coordination chemistry synthesis. They'll also have done molecular photophysics, UV vis, fluorimetry, um, quantum yield measurements, lifetime measurements, as well as transient absorption. They'll also get an opportunity to learn the inner workings of the solar cell, and so not just how they work, but how you test them for efficiency, for incident current to photon efficiencies.